Hello again, welcome back to my channel. Um, it's been a while since I've done a book review. It's been a while since I've posted a video and some things have happened, such as we moved to Pittsburgh, which that's not a dramatic, since you can't see anything, just the reflection of our kitchen lights. Um, we moved on Friday since, so there's really no angle that I can show that doesn't have unpacked boxes or half unpacked boxes um, but I did want to do this book review of The Bronze Horseman by Paulina Simons before I forget too much more about it. I read it a couple months ago and couldn't really do a review right away because I kept getting emotional when I talked about the book um, even when I was talking about it with Caitlin who lent me this is her copy I, I just was getting so emotional talking about Tatiana and Alexander and their story. Um, it takes place uh, during the early years of World War II, right when the war is starting, that's when this book starts. Alexander's in the Red Army and Tatiana is the youngest um, daughter in a, a Soviet family. And the, the book takes place during the first two years of World War II. A lot of this is set in Leningrad where Tatiana and her family are during the siege when they are starving, the whole city starving. I loved that historic element. I do not remember a lot from history class about World War II. I, I don't know if I ever even knew how terrible how horrible the starvation was in Leningrad and how how many people died during that that time period I, it, it's just it's horrifying and this that's when this story is set so there's this just this tragic tragic setting and then Tatiana and Alexander and their love story is such a like such a small hopeful warm optimistic um, part of that there is there's a part they're kept apart by kind of a contrived I thought obstacle I really didn't understand why that obstacle was so impossible to overcome so that was a little frustrating but it their relationship was so dear they had these kind of like morbid jokes back and forth she was the youngest daughter so she was always doing the chores or was so selfless. He's a soldier, so he's so protective. And just the way their personalities clash and yet how much they love each other. It was so moving. Um, that, and then when they do finally, I mean, I don't think this is really a spoiler alert. I mean, they do get together um, towards maybe the back part of the book. And then they're happy together for like a long time. Like you get a good chunk of time with them being happy together. And then of course, um, more bad stuff happens. I don't, I don't want a spoiler alert, but at the end, I just cried and cried. And every time I think about it or talk about it, I just get really emotional. And I feel as if Tatiana showed her love to Alexander that was very true to who she was, which was this selfless, giving person and he showed his love for her with his his soldier protective um, sacrifice it, it the whole just the whole story was so moving and set with the backdrop of Leningrad during World War II it 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 just would pull you in and the writing was so beautiful and their relationship was so beautiful all of the characters around especially Tatiana's family was, oh, just garbage. But those, they really, their love story and their relationship and their characters really stuck out. And I know it's like 800 pages, but it, I really enjoyed it. I read it, not quickly, but I really absorbed it and, and just really enjoyed every, every moment I was reading this. So I, I recommend it. I know it's, some people hate it. I've been watching the reviews, some booktubes, but I'm, 
I'm for it. So I hope you enjoy it if you do decide to read it and like and subscribe and hopefully I'll be a little more frequent with my videos. All right, bye.